How can black, Hispanic, and Native Indians separate themselves from their enslaver, rape, or robber, or most of my questions I'm asking both of you guys, you guys ain't gonna have the answer, especially at 18 and 19. Y'all ain't even living up life. You're on a micro level giving us a, a suggestion based off of what you went through where you have opportunity to steer away and avoid this person. And then you can start your path of healing. Where the hell do we go? For all his sons and his daughters, won't fill the sins with faces. Iniquities of they father, bloodthirsty is of our nation. Not for living water, waiting to put that work in. Hamashiach gives that order, prepare slaughter. For all his sons and his daughters, won't fill the sins with faces. Iniquities of they father, bloodthirsty is of our nation. Not for living water, waiting to put this work in. Hamashiach gives that order. You have an idea? Oh, absolutely. What is the idea? Absolutely. Again. Before I get to mine, I don't want to superimpose how I on it. I want to know. Baylor said, this is a hard question. I mean, what do you look, think? I, I, OG, the question I, I, is, the question is, I asked him, I said, how do you feel about the rape, robber, murder of black, Hispanic, and Native Indians in this country? They said, I said, what has happened to it? They said, ain't happened. I said, so what do you think should happen? I, I, then they get quiet. I can meditate and give you an answer. Okay. What's up, Baylor? So, like, I, I think to solve this issue first, it just, it just goes back to making everything right. And like, how would you make it right? That. How can you make something right of free labor? Right, I got you. No, I got you real quick. Let's walk. Let's go point for no, point, so we ain't gotta just generalize. It. That's why I know that. How do you make? How do you make something right about free labor? Very, very hard. Free labor is sort of an oxymoron. When? All oh, right. We, meant, we, we remember that, right? And we was insu we was insurance plans too. So again, free labor. If somebody, if you went and worked for a job and they didn't pay you, what do they owe you? They owe you the wages that you were due, that you were owed, right? Yeah, um, free labor. You work, they don't pay you. Right. Free labor is not too long. No, no, it is. If I, if I say free labor is the oxymoron. No, it's not. So if, I, if, I, if I say no labor nah, is I, what you do, free, labor, free like, if meaning like, you were not compensated. Yeah, that's what it's I'm like saying. if I'm saying, hey, build me a house, I'm not going to pay you. That's free labor, right? And we built plenty of houses, yeah. Yeah. especially that goddamn white one in DC right now. That's right. Right? Yeah. So what do you do with free labor? How do you do it? They're supposed to pay you, right? Wait. What? And so, so in, in terms of the labor, we might be able to come up with a figure. Right for you guys, for you guys to make right with the labor, it might be a figure. Whether you guys can pay it or not, that's a different story. Yeah. But we can come up with a figure monetarily. What figure can you come up for robbing a child or a woman of her innocence or of her purity by raping? Yeah. But you can ask the same question about any rape going on. Oh. A, wait, 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 wait. We're not talking about any rape in the world. We're talking about the rape uh, uh, that okay. the so-called Europeans or Americans, the people that run this place and that run the world. Get to the black Hispanic and native Indian. Don't try to deflect Baylor. Trust me, this ain't my first rodeo. I'm not letting you get anywhere else other than what we're dealing with here. We're still here though. We're, we're honestly, we're no, I know. I'm saying that he says, well, that goes for any rape in the world. Good thing we ain't talking about anywhere yeah. in the world. We're talking about what happened here. I don't think there is no number. Yes, exactly. I'm not even gonna sit here and let y'all come up with some bullshit to tell me. There is no number that you can come up with where you gonna let me rape your mother and, you, and I can pay you some money to make it cool. There is no number or no amount of money that I yeah. can pay you for you to be okay with me killing your mother. Yeah, no, there exactly. is no number or any yeah. amount of money that you will let me pay you to castrate your father. Yeah. There is no number and no amount of money that you'd ever let me pay you to rape your father. Yeah, that's why it's such a hard Plus question. upon the countless other things, crazy stuff y'all was doing. Cutting the babies out of our woman's stomach. Giving us the mindset and the ideology that it's okay for us to kill our own babies by way of abortion, which makes up a, a way more deaths in America in 2022 more than any type of health condition, yeah. any type of police brutality, any type of black on black crime put together. Oh, yeah. I think it's I like, and so, can I, can so you I, know what we say? Ideas. Numbers 35 and 33, Revelation 13 and 9. Bring it up! Bring it up! Bring it up. No. no, go ahead, numbers, no, 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 numbers is last. No, 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 we'll get, we'll get, we'll get Revelation last. Numbers, right? 13. Numbers, chapter 35, verse 33. So you shall not pollute the land wherein you are, Go ahead. for blood, it defileth the land. So we're saying that, and I'm thinking any, but everybody would, would acknowledge this, we shouldn't pollute the land. The scriptures and the way we understand of how some, a land is polluted is by blood. Would you say the land you live in is polluted by blood? Yeah. Right? Go ahead. And the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein. Now, that we recognize the land is polluted by blood, the only way you can cleanse this land 
of the blood that is shed therein is by what? But by the blood of him that shed it. It's only by the blood of the man that shed it. Wait, 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 wait. What's balance? So listen, listen, listen. If I go, if I go two steps this way, and then I go two steps back, it seems even to me. Right. So I'm like, you think that like? I'm glad you use the word balance too. That's literally what justice means. Right. Okay. So the way the way I see it personally, I just see there's violence ideology in that blood has to be blood in the sense must be paid for by more blood. I think that any smell of blood so is me, so give me a what we call a viable antithesis. Yes. So I, I agree. So I, I I thought about your about the ideal way to approach uh, basically creating a peaceful world, and that is uh, real quick. Make sure whatever you're telling me. It's something that you would accept somebody doing to you for the wrong that was done to you. Go ahead. I think, I, I completely understand what you're saying. I, I think that the best thing you can do is continue to have conversations like this and ideally systemize them so they happen uh, earlier in life as to as they bring these kinds of things uh, during high stage of toxicity and brain development. And basically, just talk and love and be patient with everybody else. If you can systemize that kind of behavior, that, that's, that, that's all that you really can do. That's all that you can do. How you doing, sis? You good? Absolutely, no problem. If you got any questions, let us know, okay? Alright, thank you. I think it's one of those things too where like, what are you talking about? I got you. Well, I mean, he started talking, so I just wanted to, you know, everybody get their get they point out. Here's the thing. So let's add your suggestion to the equation. I rape your mother. I castrate your father. And then I uh, uh, cut your sister's baby out of her womb and she's pregnant. And then I feed it to an alligator. And all you want me to do to correct that is, is to talk peaceably and nice and create a system for that. And that's, and you're good with that. As long as I do that, we're good. If you have genuine light and love and intention in your heart, then yes. My friend, I, I have been through like that. Baylor, been, your friend is a goddamn liar. I don't I, know if I, I'm rocking with that because I'm saying, I, I, my friend, say I, I like Baylor, man. Say I go up and- Baylor's cool, I'll, man. I'll, he I'll, said, I'll, I don't know if I'm rocking with that. I'm, I hear you, I hear you. And here's the thing, here's the thing. Again, you're not the you're not the you're not the hundred, you're not the thousandth person to say that very thing. Verbatim. Create a system that is more harmonious, loving, sincere. Yeah, it's, it's idealistic. Here's the thing. It's idealistic because you don't see your own demise in what you have received in your hand as a as a debt. You can't you can't understand, you can't fathom that. That you being able to walk up and down Mission Beach so carefully and able to sit up and have this conversation, it was only done because people on this sign and their ancestors were raped, robbed, and murdered to make a better life for you from Baylor. And then when it comes to you having to pay the bill, you say, wait a minute. Well, well what if I went and posted this restaurant on my Instagram and I and I create a whole bunch of business and buzz? I shouldn't have to pay for this meal now, right? Because that should cover that. I'm creating a system that's benefiting your business. Yeah. Hell no, they would never allow that. When you done racked up ten thousand dollars worth of porterhouse steaks and shrimp and lobster, they gonna look at you like you're a damn fool, I think it's and they gonna lock your ass yeah. up. Yeah, I, 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 What's yeah. favorite? I think it's one of those things where like, say I step on my guy's toe, right? Uh huh. He's not gonna rock it, but I, I, I shake his hand after. It's over. We've been able to solve that. Boom. You're talking about rape, murder. I don't know how I'm gonna solve that. It's not as simple as Baylor, that. Baylor, you, you know how you gonna solve that. You got a mama, right? I got a mama. You got any siblings? I got two siblings. You got a girlfriend? Not right now. Not right now? Have you ever had one? Yeah. You know, I know how you felt about it. You loved it, right? You oh, like yeah. that girl. Yeah. I like that girl. I wanna fight that girl. I really like that girl. I wanna, I wanna fight that, that girl. girl. Ooh. Right? You know yeah, how you felt about her. Girl, yeah. Someone come and do anything to them. What you ready to do, Baylor? I'm gonna beat their ass. Thank you. <laughs> give, give Baylor a hand. There you go, Baylor! Yeah. See what I'm saying? Yeah, you no. ready to fight. So why is it that when something happens to Baylor, he's ready to fight, but when something happens to us, we gotta be ready to fight? Have you ever gotten a fight before? Everybody, have you ever started a fight before? No. Uh, you, you, you were defending yourself, right? Yes. Do you mind if I tell you a story? Go ahead. Tell me a story. When I was younger, I was uh, I was sexually abused, and it usually didn't. It was something that I could see that in your eyes, man. For real. You, 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 you give that off. You know what I'm saying? And what it's, happened? It's something that I had to work really hard to get through. And I understood that all roads led back to me forgiving that person. Me understanding that they really had no idea that they were harming another individual. Simply you felt that way? Yes. Um, 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 was this person somewhere like close to your age? Relative? It was, it was an adult? It 
it's a relative and later a uh, first by age. So t twice? Yes. The adult, how, how old were they? Maybe like 40. You're telling me this four-year-old didn't know what he's doing? Yes. I'm going to tell you this. What's your name? I am. He's Baylor. My name is Jack. Jack? Yes. Jack. I'm not gonna be as delusional as you. Yeah, I mean, so you think I'm delusional? I, um, to think that he didn't know what he was doing? Uh, I mean, yeah, yeah, damn mind. I, I, I think that, that, that. Oh, he most. And, and this is not to. This is not to try to patronize what, what you went through. I'm saying, and, and I understand the role and the method you're taking to try to get past it. I understand how that can have an effect on you. You see what I'm saying? I can empathize with, I can't sympathize with, right? So what I'm saying is, I get what you're doing to try to get past it. But if you wanted to go and cut that damn person's head off. I don't think that would solve anything. What about his kid who is going to be like, oh, this guy chopped my dad's head off. It's like, I got to get some kind of retribution with this. I'm going to chop his kid's head off. No, 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 no. That's not justice. His father, or the kid's father that did it, deserved this punishment. This is this is the thing that people try to so put I, so against. Did I, did, I, did I deserve what happened to me? No. Again, something happened to you. Right. You didn't deserve that. Nothing, nothing. You didn't do anything to provoke that. Somebody came and violated you and your space that was unprovoked. So they deserve consequence for that. I, I what, whether you for, whether you forgive them or not, they deserve consequence. You understand that? Yes, and, and I believe that it's not the my same, job to be the, the same way. The same way that black, Hispanic, and Native Indians did nothing to white people to provoke you. Yes. But the repercussion, you most definitely deserve it. Hell yeah. Yes. Uh, okay, I, I understand what you're saying. Why would you Why would you want to exonerate somebody that did that to you? What I've come to understand is that, like, I, I have, I, I, I'm in the best place that I've ever been in my life currently in this present moment because I choose, like, every single moment, try and find just the, the most love and light that there is because that's all that you ever really can do. You're never going to find anything like searching through the darkness, and that's what that kind of behavior is. Watch it's this. people being lost, Watch people this, being unenlightened, and not knowing what to do with it, and not understanding that, like, what they're doing is simply spreading more darkness and, and externalizing Jack, what Jack, is all of that, themselves. Jack, all of that sounds so good, right? Imagine someone that sexually violated you, this 40 year old, right? Are you around this person still? I probably don't No. Do you see this person ever? ever? Right, yes. you, have the, you see them sometimes? Yes. And so you, you interact with them? Yes. Oh, that's, again, me and you were two different people. What I was going to say was, is that a lot of times, but, but do you have to be around them? No. Could you I'm easily separate them. yourself from them? I'm not going to be around them. Could you easily separate yourself from this person? I suppose, yes. How can black, Hispanic, and native Indians separate themselves yeah, from their enslaver, raper, robber, and murderer? See, it's a uh, different. I, 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 haven't, I, haven't, I haven't lived that life, so I, I understand. I understand, like, and, and, and most of my most of my questions I'm asking both of you guys, you guys ain't gonna have the answer, especially at 18 and 19. Y'all ain't even living up life, right? Right. That's why we're here talking. We're learning. Fair. What I'm trying to get you to understand is, is that you're on a micro level giving us a a suggestion based off of what so, you went through, where you have opportunity to steer away and avoid this person, and then you can start your path of healing. To be fair, where the I, hell do we go? To be fair, there actually was, for a great period in my life, there was a point where I couldn't leave this person. And it was hell, right? Yes, it wasn't. Really Imagine bad. that being for the rest of your life. You gotta look at this person every single day. Yeah, bro. I, I understand, and it, and it would Every like, single day, hold on, wait, wait, wait. And you gotta call yourself after this person's name. Every single that. day of your life. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And you have to be reminded of all of the different things that happen to you yeah, so by this person every single day. And guess what? There's no way for you to escape. Not, there's already a psychological uh, damage by what he was done. Then there's indoctrination too. Why do, why do me and you have to communicate in English right now? Because my native tongue, and I have to communicate with them in English. Because my native tongue that I had was stripped and stolen from me. It, no, it was beaten out of me. In my people. When you say, well, you guys can just go back to Africa, I don't know where the hell to go back to Africa. Yeah. It's been a, a complete depletion of everything. So when you give me an example, it's like, yeah, that it sounds good, but it's also a, a, a place of interest and a place of benefit for you to get out of what you are, are owed and what you're doing. I see. Scale, like, imagine, right? imagine the person that sexually violated you coming and giving you that that suggestion. It's one thing for you to come up with this understanding yourself. 
But what if the person that's texting you find that you came and told you that? You look at this person like you are out of your damn mind. If it, uh, the way I see this, I know, I know this is like it's hard to. I, I know it's like a lot of people can't get a grasp on this. If they truly had intention with understanding that what they did was wrong, and I know and I understand deeply that they would never do something like that again, I would be very happy with that. Okay, right. If they never did it again, but white people are still doing it to this day. Right. So I think the best course of action is to stop people from doing that. However, that manifests. You think white? You think white people is going to sit up here and stop doing what they've been doing? I think that with white men, yes. I think that as long as. So you think the people that's doing this are doing this out of ignorance and they just don't know anything? Yes. Jack, you gotta live some life, man. Okay? Not only was this stuff conscious, it was deliberate. It was devised and planned this way. You have this idea that people are just good and they're not. There is innately evil people oh, yeah, in the world. Yeah, yeah. No, and these are the people that are running the world. And when you get to a certain age and, and, and find yourself in certain segments and sects of society, you're gonna really understand it. And you're gonna be pressured. At it, Chuck, man, listen, you're right, baby. You are a wham wham baby. When I was 18, I thought I had it all figured out. Fresh out of high school, nine months later, <laughs> my world changed. Because I was exposed to things that I had not seen nor heard of. And you start to realize the corruption and just how foul people are. You guys are cool? You guys are friends or relatives? Friends. Friends, right? I'm not going to put you guys against each other, but you'd be surprised. Baylor might be a Oh, no, like a devil dickhead, like, 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 guess what, Jack, Jack, you might be the one, especially with your past, you might, well, you know, I, I got trouble with the past, and that's the reason why I did whatever, the, 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 I don't know you, I said you could be the same way Baylor could, you'll never know, at 18, 19, you'll never know, the opportunity and the position have to arise itself, and guess what, the opportunity, the opportunity rose today, for you guys to showcase just how much you believe and want for justice, balance, rape, rob, murder, enslavement, oppression, uh, indoctrination, and, and brainwashing. The balance is not to create a system to you know, love each other. Yeah, that, that only that only balances the psychological and brainwashing. It does not account for the rape, rob, and murder. Yeah. For all his sons and his daughters, won't fill the cities with faces. Iniquities of they father, bloodthirstiest of our nation. Not for living water, waiting to put that work in. Hamashiach gives that order, prepare slaughter. For all his sons and his daughters, won't fill the cities with faces. Iniquities of they father, bloodthirstiest of our nation. Not for living water, waiting to put this work in. Hamashiach gives that order.